The life of a river is like the life of man. It has a beginning, a middle and an end. The river springs into life high in the hills. In infancy, it laughs, splashes and gurgles, full of the joy of its new existence. As it grows bigger, it still retains its playfulness, but becomes more energetic and exuberant. of adulthood in man, the river now has calmness and poise alongside its growing volume. It also has an assertive quality. When constrained in a narrow confine, and particularly after heavy rain or snow melt, the adult river brims with self-assurance and occasionally boils with rage, challenging anyone or anything to get in its way. But when the landform opens out again and the pressure is off, the river relaxes again and recovers its calm. Maturity brings a different self-assurance, one rooted in experience of a life well lived. The mature river, now deep and fast flowing, is also serene. Quietly confident in its own existence, it has poise and an unstoppable momentum. Old age brings declining vigour and an air of little left to do. 
the river becomes brackish and languid. Until, eventually, it merges with the infinite expanse of the ocean and ceases to be.